I'm no ma'am. And I'm Ron McGee. We went to SUNY Poly for a tech showcase. Here is a highlight of the day. Hello, I am Noah Mann, reporting from the 2015 showcase at SUNY Poly. Let's go around and see what's going on. I am Noah Mann from K Witness News, and I am at the SUNY Poly Tech Showcase 2015. And this is all the different booths that they have here. There's robotics and cars, and we have at Han Patton a logo team, as well as KW1 is also visiting as well. And there are many people from different schools all over the Mohawk Valley, like Whitesboro, New Hartford, Clinton, Han Patton, and other ones too. <laughs> And here is just an over... Hello, I'm here with Jackie and Frank. Now, Jackie, tell me what this uh, logo is all about. Um, it's about our grade and our vision of the future, which is 2020, by the way. The future, quite interesting. Can you um, add to that, Frank? Yeah, we did a lot of history on our talent, and we worked very hard, and this is we've decided to make a pretty awesome logo with it. Crest. crest. It's a crest, not a logo. Yes, because in, like, there was an old Holland Patton crest, so that's what we went off of. A Holland Patton crest. How interesting. And this is Jackie and Bella, and they're going to tell us what this logo is all about and what each symbol means. Now, one of you start. Okay. I will hold it. So, the lamp is the lamp of knowledge found on our school. The puzzle pieces represent the many districts coming together to form our school, like those are the puzzle pieces. The eye represents our vision of the future, which is 2020, and the star in it represents shooting for the stars. The compass rose represents finding our direction in life. Okay. So the swords on it represents um, our, us charging forward towards our future. The Holland Patton initials represents our school, um, and the shield represents protection over each other. Hello, I'm Noah Mann, reporting from SUNY Poly 2015 Showcase. And here I have the girls from Han Patton who are displaying their beautiful logo for their STEAM. Now STEAM is a thing where there's four different groups, A, B, C, and D, and they go from certain periods and they have their schedule changed every single day. They also do presentations and different challenges. Now Chloe, tell me what is going on. This is the STEAM, the 8th grade STEAM, and here we had Sarah Storzberg, Regan Lines, and Hannah Bokniak create the process for the STEAM logo, and then we had Maylee Lupiayanis, Eva Capuana, and me, Chloe Williams, create the finalization. And is there anything you want to add, Hannah? No. <laughs> okay, then I guess that. Yellow, I'm back, and I'm here with Mrs. Spine, the supervisor of the art program in Hompton Middle School, and the um, seventh grade's version of STEAM. Now, what is exactly the STEAM you do in seventh grade? I know it's different from the eighth grade one. We don't quite do STEAM like the eighth graders, but we are doing a program we call Flashback Friday to get us ready for STEAM next year. And the logo started with an idea of uniting the seventh grade as a class and they came up with one way to unite them was with a crest and we had a logo crest contest and we ended up taking three of the winning crests and putting them together and turning them into t-shirts. Now Vincent and Ethan, I'm gonna ask Vincent first why did you want to create this logo in the contest? I mean to be the face of STEAM well, it's a shield, and it represents protecting learning. I feel like we kind of need to be shielded sometimes because we got to protect the steam. we got to. got to just do that. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, oh, Ethan, yeah, I can't. Um, so, Ethan, why the pencils? Do you know why exactly you put that in? Well, Noah, pencils are school. School. Yeah, school. Pencils, pencils they're and they're not like swords or something. They were really, like, they're kind of like... Pencil swords, basically, and um, yeah, um, so as you can see, it's obviously HP colors with HP and steam and protect learning, as Vincent said. Back to you, Noah. Okay, well, I'm back, and well, as you know by now, our school colors are purple and gold. Purple for royalty and gold just for gold. Hello, I'm Noah Mann reporting uh, for KW1, and I'm at SUNY Poly 2015 Showcase. I'm here with Elizabeth Rossi, and she's going to tell me about how she puts on this event every year. 
Thank you for coming by and thank you for asking me to talk to you. I really love the showcase. This is our 14th year running this event and it brings kids from all over central New York together to do things that they like in common like robotics and CO2 car races and junkyard wars, uh, projectile devices, balsa bridges, all digital photography, logo design, all different varieties of STEM-based um, activities that could be competitive or they could be a display. Is there anything new that you've added this year? We are having tours this year of our brand new nanotechnology building called Quad C, which stands for Computer Chip Commercialization Center. The building is going to open in uh, June, and the um, the tours are getting people inside of the structure, not inside a clean room itself, but inside the building so that they can see what a clean room looks like. And that's pretty unusual. This is the first of its kind with two floors of clean room in a, in a single facility. And it's right on the SUNY Poly campus. So how do you organize this event every year? I work very closely with the Mohawk Valley Technology Education Technology and Engineering Education Association. And you know how um, math teachers have an as a professional association, science teachers? Well, this is a professional association of technology teachers. And they organize the competitions, they define them, and then they create what we call the specs, or the parameters and rules for those competitions. What I try to do is publish that information in a timely way so people can find out about it. And then I act as the logistics person, and logistics means how you get things done, schedule-wise, materials-wise, building-wise, and also to raise money so that we can afford to give you kids t-shirts and medallions and trophies um, and that sort of thing. I'd like to thank you for the t-shirts and everything else. You're Is there anything else you want to say? No, I'm just delighted that Holland Patton is here, and you're here even stronger than you were last year, so that makes me so happy. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. Thank you for your time. You bet. Hello, I'm back, and I'm still at SUNY Poly for the 2015 Showcase of Technology. We've had a wonderful day here, and it's finally going to a close, so we hope you enjoy this wonderful footage that we've gotten. And thank you. I am Noah Mann, k News.